Welcome. This video is an introduction to CQG's DOM Trader. This is a depth of market order routing interface. We will walk through connecting the DOM Trader for either demo or real time trading, and then cover the features and functionality of the DOM Trader and place some trades. Other videos review how to configure the DOM Trader, as well as how to use smart orders and how to use study following orders. First, here are the steps to connecting your DOM Trader to the markets. Everyone has access to a demo account for simulated trading. First, click the Setup button and check that Demo Trading is selected. Then simply click Log On. The credential windows shows that we have successfully logged on. For live real-time trading, first log off, deselect Demo Trading, click Log On, then enter in the user ID and password given to you by your broker. This information is not available from CQG. Now let's walk through the features of the DOM Trader. First I'm going to log back on to the demo account. The DOM Trader allows you to have four tabs. One for each tradable symbol so you can quickly switch between markets. To enter symbol, simply click the tab and type in a symbol. The first drop down menu is the order duration menu. You can select durations such as day order, good till cancel, and others. Next is the stop order type menu. Choose stop, stop limit, DOM triggered stops. A DOM triggered stop allows you to set a threshold quantity level of the volume for the best bid and ask queues. The quantity level has to drop below your threshold level before the stop is triggered. Trailing order settings is next. Trailing limits and stops will automatically adjust their respective price based on your settings as the market changes prices. This link is for OCO and bracket orders. OCO orders which is one cancels other orders when turned on, places linked OCO orders. Bracket orders allow you to set a profit target order linked as an OCO order to a stop order. This icon is it compresses the gap for thinner markets. For example, here we see the best bid, the best ask are a couple of ticks apart. I click on this and it compresses the gap. This arrow icon hides these menus. Here are buy and sell at the market order buttons as well as joining the bid and joining the offer. Moving to the bottom, we have cancel for buy orders, cancel all, and cancel sell orders. These buttons are for setting the size of your orders. Left click to increase, right click to decrease. The DOM Trader comes with a set of toolbar buttons. Center will put the best bid and the best ask in the middle. Fill report opens up showing your current fills. This button will cancel all working orders. This button activates all suspended orders. This parked button will suspend all working orders. The parameters button is for aggregated trading. Now let's place some trades. Fast click is enabled. I can click in the buy column at the price to place an order. Notice a confirmation window opens. These notifications can be turned off. To cancel the order, I simply right click. or I could go down to the bottom. I'll place the order again, come down to the bottom, and click Cancel. Instead of using Fast Click, I can select a price and drag it into the column. Recall I have DOM Trigger Stops enabled. This confirmation window allows me to set the queue volume level. Again, this can be configured by symbol and the notification turned off. To 
to place an OCO order, I click the icon, it turns orange, place my order, place my order, unclick, and down here we see these are OCO orders. Again, cancel. To place a bracket order, which is a limit order that once filled will automatically place a stop and a profit target orders, which are OCO'd, select bracket mode. You see the brackets appear around the market and inside market buttons. I place the order and this confirmation window opens. I have my choices for targets by ticks or dollars or price. What type of order do I want it to be? The amount, say five. My stop, I want five away. And then my choices of stop orders. To further explore working with the DOM Trader features, you can click the question mark and open the help file, which is context sensitive. And if you require immediate assistance, click the support toolbar button, choose live chat, and you will connect to a CQG support person. This concludes our video. For more information about CQG products and services, please visit CQG.com.